slower girl in your life? Well, you call it slow, not you, stupid her! Gregory 
wait. Every eligible young maiden in the kingdom is hereby commanded to attend for introduction to the prince. But I know what is the meaning of this? Do I look like the social director? Uh, I should have known. This has my mother written all over it. His Royal Highness Christopher Rupert, son of.
not intend on wasting this opportunity. You two will be the loveliest, most well-spoken, most vivacious maidens at the ball, if it is the last thing I do. Am I understood? Yes, yes mother! Good. Just imagine the prince asking for my daughter's hand in marriage. Which daughter's that, I wonder? I'm younger and more appealing. The oldest marries first. That's an old wives' tale. Why do you think there's so many old wives running around? Girls, don't stop. Mother! Cinderella simply refuses to close that door. But I try to. your tongue and do as you're told. Now once and for all, close that door. Have you ever seen a lazier girl in your life? Who oh, do you call it lazy? You want a piece of me? Enough already. Now sit, my daughters. We need to have a talk. Not you. I want to talk to my real daughters. You tend that fire and serve us tea. Yes, stepmother. I want some crumpet with my tea. Like I don't. Crumpet Cinderella! Coming right up, my darlings. I simply cannot stress enough how imperative it is that you make a proper impression upon the prince. You know, I will not be around forever to care for you. Why not? Yeah, where are you going? What I mean to say is I do not intend on spending the rest of my life slaving away in this house. Cinderella, the tea? I have devoted my entire life to your comfort and well-being. Is it asking too much that I spend my golden years in a cottage by the sea? And leave us here alone? Not alone, with husbands. You know, it takes a certain amount of income to maintain our lifestyle. The fox your stepfather left will not last forever, and money does not grow on trees. I know that! It comes from the bank. <laughs> How do you suppose it gets to the bank? <gasps> the banker goes and gets it from... 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 Well, uh, wherever it does grow, but not on trees. Money doesn't grow anywhere. It's inherited. <laughs> Which is precisely why I am determined to see each of you marry within the year. So either you make a proper impression upon the prince, or it's back to the butcher oh. and master Buxhorn. Oh. Am I understood? Yes, mother! <laughs> Just imagine me, the mother of a princess. Now, enough excitement for one day, girls. It's time for your beauty rest, and Lord knows, you could use it. <laughs> Here you go, fresh baked crumpets and- Not you. now, Cinderella. Oh. We're going to nap. Have dinner prepared when we awake. Smoke the salmon. Bake the bread. Post the pears. And Cinderella, close that door. Oh, alone at last. I can be whatever I want. 
this. Every eligible young maiden in the kingdom is hereby commanded to attend her introduction to the prince. What? Every eligible young maiden in the kingdom list for 
for your approval. You haven't heard a word I've said. Family and close friends, darling. Terribly intimate. Your Highness, Your Majesties, if you please, I couldn't help but overhear, and I probably shouldn't interfere. Probably. But what if we were to reach somewhat of a royal compromise? Compromise? What do you think this is? A democracy? What sort of a compromise, Lionel? Let's say you suck it up and go along with the ball. I'm loving this idea so far. And if you find the girl of your dreams, great. But if he doesn't... Lionel, you're brilliant. Okay, I'll do it. But if I don't meet the right girl at the ball, you'll let me fall in love in my own time no matter how long it takes, uh, but... and with no interference. Father? Well, it does have a certain logic to it. Of course, darling. If that's the way you want it, that's the way it shall be. You know, son, there's only one way to find the girl of your dreams. What's that? Dumb luck. <laughs> Let's just hope it runs in the family. Thank you both. I love you. Don't worry, your majesties. Why, he'll find the right girl at the ball. Oh, I can just feel it in my bones. Oh, you'll feel it in your bones if he doesn't. I hear that. Max, suppose he doesn't find the right girl at the ball. What then? Then he'll find you somewhere else. Isn't that the way it always happens? Boys and girls like you and me walk beneath the skies. They love just as we love with the same dream in their eyes. Songs and kings and many things have And it's you 
I'm your royal steward, and I'm telling you this disappearing act has got to stop. It's just too dangerous. But I was careful. <laughs> Not you. Me! I can't keep lying to your mother about where you are. They have laws against that. <sighs> now let's say we slip into something a little less comfortable.
my Cinderella, which I give you with all my heart. Know your place and be satisfied with it. And your place is here. You were going to go to the royal palace and that funky old thing? Now yeah, that's funny. <laughs>
that wishes are poppycock? Why shouldn't I? Well, whenever I dream of having a fairy god. Dreams! Ball de roll and tiddle dee dee, middle de battle de foodle. All the dreamers in the world are dizzy in the noodle. So, my wishes are poppycock, and I'm crazy for dreaming? With a fairy godmother like that, who needs a stepmother? You know what her problem is? She can't handle how fabulous you are. Fabulous? Me? Those girls of hers can't hold a candle to you, and they all know it. Jealousy, that's why they treat you as they do. They're my family. They're all I've got. Oh, believe me, honey, when your daddy remarried, this is not what he had in mind for you. You talk like you knew him. I did know him. And mother? Very well. Was she my mother, I mean? Was she beautiful? Well, people did seem to think so, but your mama never put much stock in beauty. The way you look isn't really something you can take credit or blame for, is it? I wish I'd known her. So does she, honey. I've wished so hard. Wishes again! Look, it is true that everything starts with a wish, but it is what you do with a wish that counts. So, my wish to go to the ball? Balderall and Middle Dee Dee. How will you get there? I suppose one of those pumpkins is going to magically transform into a golden carriage. Well, no. And that these mice will turn into horses to pull your magical carriage. Of course not. That's impossible. If you say so. Impossible. For a
before midnight, but all the other girls get to stay out late tonight. Not you. But I really want to stay out no more, but just be sure you're home before midnight. Okay, I will. And Cinderella, you're as beautiful tonight as your mother ever was. Thank you, miss, for 
the distinct pleasure of your company. How much more of this are you going to put me through? My darling, it's the shame of the evening. So, ready for the next round? I suppose so. The sooner I get through them all, the sooner I can get out of here. That's the spirit. I wanted to ring out the bells 
and fling out my arms and you sing out the news. I have found her, she's an angel with the dust of the stars in her eyes. We are dancing, we are flying, and she's taking me back to the skies. In the arms of my love, I'm flying over mountain and I like it so well that for all I can tell, I may never come down again. I may never come down to earth again. Christopher, may I? Mother. Mother. what I was trying to figure out when we were so rudely interrupted. Of course, it doesn't really matter. You told me yourself you wouldn't find the girl in your dreams tonight. Maybe I was wrong. But more importantly... Okay, I admit it. You were right. I have found her. She's an angel with the dust of the stars in her eyes. We are dancing. We are flying. She's taking me back to the skies. I don't believe we've seen you before. Do we know your parents? I don't think so. Well, then you must introduce us. Well, my father and my mother. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Will you excuse me for a moment? Of course, my dear. Thank you, Your Majesty. Charmed, Your Highness. I can't help noticing that divine girl you were dancing with. That's my mother, not her. I mean, the girl who's leaving. Leaving? Would you excuse me? You're not leaving already. Well, I, I have well, to well, go. I don't know what my dad said to you, but I oh, promise no. he's... He was wonderful. Oh, then please, stay for just one more dance. I know we've known each other very long, but how do you think it's going? Some 
one I can really talk to. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Yes, it is. If you're not like those girls, why are you? Not like the girls you meet, I suppose. Oh, actually, I don't meet that many girls. I lead a pretty sheltered life. So do I. Really? Every day, same old, same old. Having no life of your own. The same silly arguments. Until you just want to run away and, and never, never come back. back. <sighs> it looks like we have a lot in common. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. After all, you don't really know me. But I'd like to. And I want you to know me. Look, I know this is crazy, and we just met, but... Um... Um... <laughs> just, do you want to go see the rest of the gardens? I'd love to. I want you 
this is not a very good sign when you tell someone you love them and they don't say anything. I'm afraid that if I speak, I might wake up.
surprised if the prince chose one of my girls for his bride. It almost sounds too good to be true. Did you know everyone? Everyone who's anyone. Except for some princess something or other. Who arrived late and left early. A princess? Did she get to dance with the prince? I didn't know this. Do you think he liked her? What's with all the questions? Really, I feel positively interrogated. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to imagine what it must have been like. <laughs> Your father fills your head with a 
lot of empty dreams and impossible wishes that will never come true. You're a little fool, Cinderella, and I don't suffer fools gladly.
Cinderella. Bring this to the kitchen and stay there until my guest has gone and I come for you. Am I understood? Yes, stepmother. Good. All right, girls, a lesson in how to greet a suitor. Watch and learn. Lord, what a pleasant surprise. I just knew there was something special between us. Every man. You were obviously intrigued by a little tete-a-tete -tete at the ball. Madam, please, some restraint. Restraint about all else! <laughs> Presenting His Royal Highness, Prince Christopher. Ladies, I am in search of the maiden whose foot fits this slipper. She lost it at the ball. Joy, just this very morning I was saying, whatever happened to your other shoe? Wasn't I, dear? I was saying, where could you have lost it? Wasn't I, dear? Oh! <gasps> That's my shoe. I'd recognize that shoe anywhere. Of course you would. <laughs> Joy. This shoe is made of glass. It does not stretch. Why, that's my shoe, sister. You know that. Here, your highness, let me show you. Cinderella? 